Hey guys, it's Jack and I'm back from another video. And today, if y'all cannot tell from the title of the video, we are going to be here with a life after college. So, with that being said, let's just get started with today's video. So, the first thing what you guys might notice about me in this video is that my hair is different. Yes, the man bun is gone. Uh, Jackie with the man bun is gone. Now it's Jackie with the middle part, sometimes side part. But for now, we're rocking the middle part. Um, but yeah, basically, the bun, I didn't like no more. Um, I need a new style, um, and plus I was tired of waking up every day, putting in the bun. Um, I just wanted to wake up, wet my hair, and just do what I gotta do. So yeah, let me know down below in the comments if you guys like bun Jackie or middle part Jackie. But moving on to the title of this video, um, the title of this video is, is college worth it? Or is having a degree worth it, basically? And basically the reason why I'm making this video is because it's been about a couple months since I graduated. Um, honestly, it's probably only been like four because I graduated in May. Um, so let's do the math. January, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Wait. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. So it's been a couple months since I've graduated. Um, I graduated, I walked across the stage on, I think May 10th, something like that, something in May. And I didn't really finish school until the end of summer, which was the end of July, kind of beginning of August. So kind of, I'm still kind of newly grad. It's been a couple months, um, but yeah, it's been some time since I've graduated. Also, before we move on, I know this background has never been seen before. And I'm gonna talk about that later on in this video as this kind of has something to pertain with this video. But back to what I was talking about, um, life after college with a college degree. I went to the great Kennesaw State University in Kennesaw, Georgia, um, AKA Marietta, Georgia. Um, yeah, that area. I went to Kennesaw State University for a degree in media entertainment. And I recently graduated with a degree as you can see in my diploma, which is right here. Ah, my diploma. But yeah, here is my diploma. It just basically says, um, my name, degree of Bachelor of Science, Media Entertainment, blah 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 blah. Um, yeah, boring stuff. Um, so I don't really need this no more. But yeah, my life after graduation. Um, what I'm doing, what I have been up to. That's kind of what this video is gonna be about. And overall, at the end, I'm gonna let y'all know if it's worth it getting a degree or not because that's kind of what I'm questioning right now. With that said, after I graduated, um, my plans were to just move back home, which this is part of my home. Um, and basically, that's all I'm planning. My plan was to move back home. Um, I work at H&M. At the time, I was working at the H&M by Kennesaw, and now I'm working at the H&M by my house. That's it, I just transferred jobs. With that said, I was looking for media jobs, specifically stuff in the film industry, um, because that's what I wanna do is stuff with the film. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm picky or if I just don't know where to look or if it's just because I didn't get an internship, this or that. Um, I've had a very hard time looking for a job in the film industry. Plus all the strike and all that stuff that's going on, that definitely has been playing a huge factor on why I probably haven't been able to find anything. At least that's my excuse. But with that said, I was able to find a photography job at KD Studios, which is basically a photography business who takes pictures of um, high schoolers, the yearbook pictures, um, sporting events, basically any photography that does with high schoolers. I got the job there, they gave me 15 an hour, and I also decided to work with h and to work at both jobs so I could make as much money as I possibly could. And I think the reason why it was so hard for me to find a job was just because I really didn't know where to look because I was just looking on Indeed. Um, what's, that's not a job. Um, there was another one, um, I forgot what it was called, but there was another website where um, you could basically put all your stuff. LinkedIn, that's what it's called, LinkedIn. Um, I was looking on LinkedIn. Um, yeah, I was just kind of looking wherever my professors told me, um, but basically going up to graduations, I asked my professor what jobs would be available. He straight up told me that it's very competitive right now. Being a freelancer photographer or a freelance videographer is very competitive, very tough right now. Um, so he said my best bet was to go into teaching, teaching um, students 
about audiovisuals or just basically media. He told me that the media teacher was in high demand, not just media, but teachers overall. And it made me think because he made it sound very nice because he said uh, teachers can get anywhere from 50 to 60,000. And if they do yearbook, that's another 5,000. If they coach, that's another 5,000. So he's basically saying I can get somewhere around 70,000. And I was like, that's not that bad. And he said, once I get into the teaching job, it's not a forever job, but once I get the teaching job, Basically, I'll basically get any other job that I could possibly get because becoming a teacher is probably one of the most hardest things that you could probably get as a job. So the way he made it sound, it caught my attention because I always wanted to teach. I always wanted to impact the younger students um, or the younger generation because, you know, that's kind of what I want to do in life is just impact people and it caught my attention. And plus, I wanted to go coach football, you know, live back my, you know, younger days. You know, I could have made it to the league if it was my knee. So that was an option, but I told myself I didn't want to settle down and do and go that route until I was 25. And I'm 22 right now. I don't turn 23 until February 23rd, 2024. So I have two, three, basically two and some change years. So I got some time. So that's why I'm kind of not in a rush to go into the teaching route. And I wanted to see what was out there for me. Of course, naturally what I wanted to do was to just continue to make YouTube videos. But what I realized is that I have been very, very critical on my content because in my opinion, some of y'all might agree, some of y'all might disagree, but in my opinion, my videos suck. A lot of the videos that I have produced, a lot of the videos that I have created, in my opinion, suck. The reason why I said it is because I think I am so hard on myself. I'm very hard on myself when it comes to critiquing my work because I don't know, I guess I expect nothing but greatness and I want myself to do good and I want myself to do the best that I possibly can. And not gonna lie, lately I have not been able to do that. I think a part of that reason is just because I have been discouraged because of me comparing myself to others or if it has been just me overworking because all I legit do is I work seven out the seven days. If I'm lucky, I get a one day break and in that day I am on the break, all I do is just sleep. Um, so legit, all I have been doing after college is just work and sleep, which is kind of sad and depressing. With that said though, it's just like, I don't know. I feel like the reason why I'm here, why I'm at is just because I don't want to go work in the office or work for a corporate. I kind of want to be my own boss. And I talked to a couple other classmates or other friends about creating a production team because I was serious about creating a production team because for one of my final projects for my uh, classes we had to create a short film and I loved the, everything about it from the production to the recruitment uh, producer whatever um, just basically from the ins and outs of creating a short film from the script to getting the team and filming editing all that stuff that's what I realized that's what I wanted to do so I thought I had a good group of friends and I was like alright bet we were able to produce this little short film even though that short film was not the best it was still a start and we could take whatever we learn from that and go from there and learn and create better short films and not that everyone was on the same page but clearly not because life happens and people lose passion people lose interest in what they do and that happens um so that's natural so what i told myself was that i'm going to give these people who told me that they were interested the end of the year and if they don't come back to me with anything then i'm gonna go do stuff my own way i'm gonna go get my equipment my way i'm gonna go write my own scripts produce my own films get the crew i need and just kind of go from there. Really, it's gonna be the Wong Productions, for real, cause that's kind of what I want to do, is just produce short films. I want to take people's scripts who weren't selected at the film club, the the class, whatever. This basically the scripts that were not selected and turn them into a short film. Take their vision and give it life, basically. Um, that's kind of what I want to do, and that's kind of where I'm setting my goals for 20.4 is basically I want to at least produce one short film and whether it is going to a contest or whatever I'm going to be putting the video out on to YouTube because YouTube is a good platform to produce stuff and I just want to just kind of get my name out there and make videos because that's what I know what I want to do whether the videos are going to be silly goofy YouTube videos um, daily life videos, vlogs, and stuff like this video, or challenges, gaming videos, whatever type of videos, those are what I'm going to be trying to do. That's why I think in the future, I want to create different channels, such as I have my main channel where I do whatever, my gaming channel where I post gaming channel stuff, or gaming videos, a podcast where I just talk about stuff, 
and then maybe a production channel where I get to produce short films. Um, I know it's a lot, but it's something what I want to do. And if I want to take it seriously, I have to start somewhere. So right now I'm in the works of saving up money for a camera. Um, right now, the camera that I really want is going to be the Sony a7 IV, which is kind of the lead. And if you guys know anything about cameras, it's almost around two thousand dollars, and that's a lot of money to save up. And plus, it's about to be holiday season, and I gotta get gifts. Um, so yeah, wish me luck. Um, that's kind of how my life has been after college, after graduating from college. Um, I barely have any friends now, um, so try to keep close with some friends. Um, sometimes it gets lonely. Sometimes. Um, I'm still getting used to not seeing people every day. Social life definitely went downhill. The only people I really see every day is people I work with. Um, and you make friends at work and you make enemies at work and you work with people you don't like. That's just life. Maybe even start photography on the side, um, which might be adding a lot to my plate because like I said, I wanted to do this channel, gaming channel, podcasting, um, a production channel, and even photography on the side. That's a lot, but I think this is, the path that I want to take because this is what I want to do for real. Um, so I think I'm going to be taking a lot of risk in 2024 um, because, you know, I have to take risks eventually and I can't be sheltered and be babied by mom and dad for life, you know. Soon it's going to be them relying on me, which kind of already hasn't been happening, but I want to be able to support my family, um, my mom and dad specifically, my sister and you know, let them do what they want to do, let my sister do what she wanted to do, as they all have sacrificed a lot for me. It's time for me to sacrifice more so I can get back to my family, people I love. With that said, um, expect a lot of changes to come because in this room right here, the room that I'm in right now, this is not my room. Growing up, this is my sister's room. Um, so basically, I have been in transition of cleaning out all of the stuff, basically, all of my mom's clothes because my mom turned this into her closet so basically i've been cleaning out my sister's stuff my mom's stuff um and i'm gonna turn this into my room and basically make my room the current room that i'm staying in right now which you guys have seen before i'm gonna make that into my office so this can be my room and then that'll be my office so then that can kind of separate my sleep and work so basically i think what ended up happening is that if i have or if I stay in my room with where I work, I kind of tend to get lazy and just lay in bed instead of doing work. So this way I have to get out of bed to go across the hall to do my work and all that stuff. And I feel like that's gonna help me out in the future because ultimately I have to stop being lazy. I know my ultimate flaw and that's me being a lazy fucking bum. So I gotta stop being lazy and start working and start grinding in. Basically it's time for me to make my dream a reality for real. Like no more if, what's and buts. I finally know what I wanna do. Um, that was probably a big question that I had in the past of, oh, I don't know what I want to do, this and that. I have no idea, but now I do. This year, 2023, is where I figured out what I wanted to do. And not everyone is lucky like me to figure out that their major actually goes towards what they want to do in life. A lot of people choose a major just because it's going to make them money and they hate it or whatever. The major I chose is what I love and the passion that I wanted to do. So basically, I got lucky picking my passion, my major. Um, so yeah, I'm very blessed and lucky for that. So finally, to answer the question you guys have all been waiting for is getting a college degree worth it? I'm gonna say it depends. It depends on your major. For my major, to be honest, I don't think I really needed a media entertainment degree to learn how to learn about media or film videos, this and that. I think for me, I needed more hands-on experience than anything else. Cause I felt like me sitting in class, learning about different film techniques or how the social media works, the toxic side, this and that. I felt like that was kind of pointless. Not saying it's bad. It's good to know this, the behind the scenes about what you're doing. But I also feel like it was kind of a waste of time. Cause I wish I was just hands-on filming, acting, behind the scenes, whatever. I just wish I was doing all that full time instead of just doing homework and other bullshit. And the reason why it's worth it is because depending on the major and what you want to do, if you want to go into nursing or um, law or whatever, but stuff that really requires majors, you definitely have to go that route. And probably finding a job will be easier in that aspect, but since I'm a media side, I'm film, whatever side, it's gonna be harder for me just because one, I feel like everyone's on strike. Two, it's not that many opportunities because um, from what I've heard, this might not be a reliable source, but what I've, from what I've heard, 
Um, basically, I heard a lot of people who work in the film industry don't really make that much. They kind of make seven twenty-five or basically a little over minimum wage, um, specifically in Georgia, and they work long hours, um, and yeah, it pays not good, and that's why they're on strike right now. That's what I've heard. Might not be right, but that's what I've heard. But with that said, though, stay tuned because I'm probably gonna do some more post-graduation diary videos, more vlogs, um, basically take you guys onto um, a day in the life where I go to work, um, at my photography job, H&M, um, just my life in general. Um, stay tuned because I plan on doing Vlogmas, which I gotta start doing now because I've been slacking. Um, but yeah, lately, I've just been self-reflecting, self-thinking, and I was just like, is this, I'm not gonna lie, I sat here and thought was like, is film really what I wanna do? And I sat there and be like, yeah, because I like making a team, working in a team aspect, working with other creatives to tell a story. Um, yeah, it's just time for me to start doing it instead of being a lazy bum. Um, and I know I've said that before, but now I know the path that I need to go, the things I need to do, um, so I finally have direction. I think in the past I never had direction, now I have direction. So now it's time for me to just do all the things I wanna do and make it happen. So with that said, stay tuned for a lot of the things I have in store, such as my photography page, my main channel, gaming channel, podcasting and production team. Um, stay tuned because those are stuff that I'm trying to work on and create. And I'm bringing you guys along on my journey and we're just gonna see where life takes us. So with that being said, I don't think I have anything else left to say to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, share, and your boy is out.